This will be my comprehensive review. This will be my comprehensive review for the Callaway Chrome Tour golf balls. They don't come like that. I, just for the, I took them out. But and the Chrome Tour X golf ball. There's, it, it was full, but they're right here. I think the thing that concerns me most is like, do we even need a new golf ball? Haven't these guys figured it out by now? You know, if you can't beat Titleist, like what's the point of even putting a golf ball out there? Okay, the price of the Chrome Tour is $54.99, and the price of the Chrome Tour X is the same price, $54.99. And the price of the Titleist Pro V1 is $55. And the Pro V1 X is $55. Chrome Tour is one penny cheaper. Okay, there's only three reasons why you would buy a golf ball. Okay, one is price. Now, we're ruling all of you guys and girls out because this is the highest price golf ball basically on the market, You're the highest level of quality, the highest price. So this is for people who don't care about price. If you're a price guy, girl, then you're going somewhere else. The second reason would be you're brand loyal. So you're only going to buy Callaway, Titleist, Bridgestone, whatever. And you're out too because if you're a Callaway, you're buying this ball anyways. So there you go. The third reason you would buy a golf ball would be performance. You want the best ball. That's who this video is for. And when it comes to performance, there's really three things we're looking at. Your wedge game. You need something that feels great around the greens, the right spin for you, the right feel for you, the, the ball that's gonna give you the most confidence, wedge game. Iron performance. You want something that you're gonna hit those mid irons, the right height with the right spin. You're gonna get the right performance kind of in the mid iron game. And that's really what's most important to you because you're hitting those shots into the green a lot, par threes, whatever, you get it. We're gonna give you those numbers. And the final reason, which is probably most people, would be what does it do off the tee with the driver? What type of spin rates are we getting? Where is it flying? How far? Height is gonna be critical for each person. So driver is gonna be huge. Um, if you're one of the people who use a ball and specifically pick it because of how it feels with the putter, yeah, don't do that. Here's how this is going to work. We're gonna hit pitch shots with the wedge and give you those numbers. Spin rate, everything. We're gonna hit seven irons, give you those numbers. Drivers, give you those numbers for the Chrome Tour, Chrome Tour X, and Pro V1, and Pro V1 X. And then at the end, I'll give you my assessment as to which one is the best ball for me. We have TrackMan Studio here, which is phenomenal. It picks up everything perfectly, except spin rate numbers off the golf ball, unless you have the RCT balls. And I have those in Pro V1 and Pro V1 X golf balls. That's it, unfortunately. So what I'm going to also use is the Unicor i Mini is a camera-based launch monitor. And so it actually picks up the spin of the golf ball excellently. So we're gonna be using this as well so that we have accurate spin numbers from every ball. Let's begin. <sighs> Voila, here we go. Key numbers we're looking at are going to be ball speed. We're gonna get carry distance and total distance. We want the spin rate. We want the height the golf ball flies in the air, and we want this landing angle number, the angle of descent that it comes down, so that we know it could have a ton of spin, it could be, but if it comes in too steep or too shallow, it's not gonna be optimal for you. Here we go. We're gonna start with Chrome Tour 30 yard pitch shots. 
Unicor, Trackman, voila. Initial thoughts on the Chrome Tour, it felt great. It feels a little softer. Just uh, initial perception here. Feels good, feels great. Let's compare them to Pro V1, Pro V1X. Okay, let me give you the numbers for Chrome Tour from 30 yards. It was uh, carrying on average of um, 32 yards. I was getting about 16 feet height and a 42 mile an hour ball speed. And here's the spin numbers for Chrome Tour on average 6514. Chrome Tour X, we have average carry was 29.6 yards. Average ball speed is 39.5. Flying about 14 feet in the air. And the Unicor spin rate was 6,042. So quite a bit lower spin rate than the Chrome Tour. So it was Chrome Tour 65, Chrome Tour X at 6,042. Pro V1, average carry was um, a little bit less. I guess on track man, ball speed was 37.7. Average height was about 12 feet. And the spin rate there on average was 56, 38, much lower, We're getting lower in spin here. And last on the 30 yarders was the Pro V1X golf ball. Average carry 27.5, average height was 13 feet. Average spin 58, 33, 38 mile an hour ball speed. So here's what's interesting, the highest spin rate 6,500 yards Chrome Tour. If you need more spin from that shorter range, those pitch shots, Chrome Tour is looking good so far. Moving on to the seven iron, mid iron, here we go. We'll do it the same order Chrome Tour is up first. Fascinating mid iron results. I'm going to share with you right now. Here's the Chrome Tour golf ball, seven iron, average carry distance, 166. We have ball speed at 115, and the spin rate on Chrome Tour is 4931 with the seven iron, and our landing angle, our descent angle, 44. We want 45. Here we have 44.0, really close. So, it's going 84 feet in the air, it's going high, not a ton of spin, interesting. Now Chrome Tour X 7 iron, didn't carry nearly as far, 156, and we got ball speed at 112, spin rate was 55.31, and our landing angle also 44.0, it was spot on. They went, it was like the exact same shot, one had more spin, 600, more spin than the other. Interesting. And Pro V1 got an average ball speed of 118, carried like 172, I think went. So it went farther, higher, came in a little steeper, 46, that's really good. And uh, 51, 67 spin, that's Pro V1. So that spin rate's, uh, we're kind of right in between, a little higher than uh, Chrome Tour, a bit lower than Chrome Tour X. And here's our Pro V1X. We had um, ball speed 113, a little bit slower, carried 165, and uh, our landing angle was 43. So it went a bit lower, obviously 82 feet in the air, and our spin rate there was 4827. So that is the lowest spinning ball with a seven iron, mid iron, that we have in the bunch. Here we go. Uh, Chrome Tour with the driver now. And then uh, at the end, I will pick a winning ball that I'm gonna, use, that I think is the winner, at least for me. And then you go through the numbers, make your own analysis, but I'll, I'll give you mine.
All right, driver results are in, and this will help us pick a champion for the um, Chrome Tour ball. Here we go. Chrome Tour, off the driver, we have an average carry of 247. Average ball speed, uh, according to Unicor, was 152, so pretty good. Our average spin rate was really low at 1768. We have a landing angle of 30 degrees, so it's lower with less spin, so it's gonna run quite a bit, not carry quite as far. Chrome Tour X golf ball with the driver picked up some massive carry distance versus the Tour, so we went 262 average carry. Average ball speed was 152 miles an hour, so virtually the same as the Tour. So that was great, and we got a bit more spin at 2246. And our landing angle stepped up a few degrees to 33 degrees. So we're getting a little bit more spin with that Chrome Tour X and a lot more carry distance, 262. That was really good. And then looking at that Pro V1 golf ball, we're getting a spin rate. We had 2,000 spin. And then our landing angle came down a few degrees. So a little less spin going to keep that ball down a little bit lower and that's the Pro V1 ball for your comparison. And then let's look at the numbers for the Pro V1X. This is the golf ball I pretty much game all the time. Pro V1X, we had a 266 carry, so the most carry of all of them in my testing. We had a 2000 spin rate. Average ball speed here is 152. Okay, here's my summation of the Chrome Tour golf ball, the tour. If you are a player that hits it high, this is my assessment, if you hit it high, but you don't necessarily have the greatest spin rate around the greens, this could be a really good option for you because it spins higher from that shorter distance, but as it goes farther, it spins a lot less. And this says, on the box here it says, the Chrome Tour is long game spin low, short game spin high. Work so it matched what they claim here on the box. I don't think for me this is the ball because for me around the greens it feels a little too soft. And I want, I don't need that extra spin around the greens. So probably not the golf ball for me, but if you want more spin around the greens, phenomenal. Now Chrome Tour X was interesting because in my testing here, I got more short game spin from the Tour than the Tour X, and they claim this one has even more spin around the green than the Tour. Where I found I liked the feel of the Tour X much, much better than the Chrome Tour. That felt a little too soft for me when this felt really, really similar to me as the Pro V1X. The numbers were different, but the feel was very similar to that Pro V1X. So I really like, if I'm gonna pick a Callaway Chrome Tour, I'm gonna go with the, uh, the Chrome Tour X. Did the Chrome Tour X beat the Titleist Pro V1X for me? My gamer, do I have a new gamer? Here we go. I think for me, this beat out, for me, the Chrome Tour and the Pro V1. And it is very comparable to the Titleist Pro V1X. So. I will be gaming the Chrome Tour X to see if it holds up, you know, in reality, in conditions, wind, if I could work it and flight it, how I like in the elements. But I do believe it is up there. They finally got a ball to compete with the, uh, the number one ball in golf, Titleist Pro V. So, great job, Callaway. I don't know what took so long, but you, you did a good job. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Hope it helps. See you next time.